Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we had a question. Somebody wanted to have an image and when they zoom, when they rolled in on it, wants to zoom in like that. But they were doing it and it's spilling out of their column here and they wanted to know how to do it and keep it inside the column like we've done here. Really easy to do. Um, so I've got this page open here. Let's just add a new module. Let's, let's start a new row here. Let's get rid of this one. And we'll put an image in there. Here's a simple image module. And we'll choose an image. I guess I'll use that same one again. Okay, so there we are. We've got a little image, which is great. And to make it zoom, we want to add a bit of CSS code. Now in the styling you've got some filters where you can add sort of filter effects but we've got no actual zoom or ratio effect here which is fine we can just write that with some CSS. Now I've got the pro version installed today so I can write my CSS in the custom CSS here. If you're using the free version you can do exactly the same but the place where you'll actually put your CSS is not here because you won't be able to use it with the free version. You want to go down to your dashboard appearance then customize down to additional CSS here and this is where you'll have to put your CSS in the additional CSS panel in the customizer for the free version other than that it should be exactly the same and any CSS I write today I'll put below the video as usual okay so we've got our image in there to be able to target it we want to give it a CSS ID and also let's make it take up the full width and height of the column it's in which is the dotted line you see a bit of space there so before we write our CSS let's go into our advanced panel on the image make sure there's no margin or padding there by putting a zero in both as long as that chain is checked it'll do all four at once and then we'll go into the column the little dark tab there on the top left and do exactly the same I'm going to go over to advanced margin and padding put a zero in there we're taking up the full width of our column there great okay well let's click on the image and go back to the image now we can write some CSS first thing we want to do is make it scale or grow like we've got going on this one so let's go into our custom CSS and remember if you've got the free version you have to write your CSS in your theme customizer there okay we need to give it a class before we can write any CSS so let's call it uh, IMG zoom call yours what you want it's got to be unique it's got to make some sense to you so we've got image image zoom there I'm going to copy that I'm going to go down to our custom CSS it's a class name so all class names have to have a dot or a period there's the dot right there then we can paste that class name that we gave it image zoom open and close some curly brackets and in between is where we can write our code and we want to scale it up so I'm going to say transform colon and the word scale no gap and open some round brackets and I want it to be scaled up by twice as much width and twice as much height so I can do just put a 2 in there as you can see that scaled that up twice as much if you just want to do 1.5 just put 1.5 in there if you actually want to do different amounts for the width and the height just put a comma in and you can do the width first put a comma in and put the height version in second but for me just zooming it by two is going to work fine but we only want this to happen when we hover on it so when we've got our class name right there I'm going to put a colon on the end no space and the word hover now that's only going to happen when we hover over it but as you can see it's kind of just spilling out of our column here with all this over the side top and bottom here whereas we want it to contain it in there so what we've got to do to contain this is we've got to give our column a fixed height and we've got to tell it to hide the overflow so let's click on the little dark tab and we'll go back to our column and we'll write that CSS advanced tab custom CSS or theme customizer if you're using the free version and again we've got to give this a CSS ID 
So I'm going to call it zoom col, zoom column. Again, call yours what you want, but it wants to make sense to you. Let's copy that class. We'll go down dot control because it's a class name. Got to have a dot or a period class name. Then we'll open and close some curly brackets. And what we've got to say, well, first thing, we've got to give it a fixed height so it knows to stop when it gets to about here. So let's give it a height of, say, 250 picks. I think that's about right. And I don't know if you saw that, that line just shortened up a bit. So it's probably about 252, but I think 250 is going to work for me. So if I get off there, that dotted line slightly high. If I was to put it to about 252 or 253 it would be exactly the same height as the image there I don't know if you can see that or 254 even but I'm gonna leave mine at 250 that's gonna work for me now we have to tell it to hide that overflow so I'm gonna drop down I'm gonna say overflow colon and the word hidden semicolon now when we hover over it's gonna stay in that little box Now that's working great, but it's happening almost instantly. I want it to be more of a sort of gradual thing, a bit more like, ah, oh, zooming in like that. So we can add another bit of code. Let's go back to our actual module itself by just clicking on the image, back down to our custom CSS. I'm gonna copy the class name there, dot image zoom, because that's a hover state right there. And I want to put the transition duration not in the hover state, in a regular state. So I'll put the regular image zoom class name in there. I'm going to open and close some more curly brackets. Inside, I'm going to give it a transition duration. And it's prompted us down here. You can just click on that. And let's give it a timing of, say, three quarters of a second, uh, 0 0.75 seconds, semicolon. Now, when we hover over it, it's going to do it gradually and it's going to stay within our little column. So there we go. I hope that answers your question. That's how to do this. Let's save it and make sure it's going to work on the front end. Hit the update. Hit the little eyeball to preview the changes. And we'll go on down. There's our little image. When we hover over it, it's going to zoom in and contain itself in that little column there. So I hope that's answered your question. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.